Hello, this is a Hab Dev. In this video, I'll show you how to copy the bones transformed data from a character with an animator controller, apply to it to a character without it. This way, in some specific situations, we can save a bit of processing power. Thanks to not needing to put an animator controller on all characters in the current scene of our project. To do so, I have created a simple script that you can find in all of my poses pack. At least eventually when I have updated all of my published ones. As an example, I will try to recreate the style of classic games like Icewind Dale and Baldur's Gate, but with three-dimensional characters and, of course, not animated. In this specific scene, and as you have already seen, I want to put three non-playbell characters representing a group of three female warriors resting after having defeated a troll. As you can see, I have already prepared the scene, the camera angle, and the characters. I also have made sure all the characters are using a humanoid rigging system and that they have an animator controller component attached to them. So now, I will attach to all of them the script I already prepared called copy pose to bones. Next, I will fill the variables according to the instructions of the inspector. Notice how I also created a specific scriptable object to use as a container for the data that the script needs to recollect. Attach a different one for each character. Now it's time to choose a pose for each of them. For the sake of making this video as short as possible, I already picked some. T come from my already published poses pack sitting number one in superhero pack pain and suffering. Once done, let's enter play mode and position all the characters according to our needs and preferences. As you can see, due to the morphology of our troll character, it needs to fix its pose animation data in order to get better results. Before doing so, let's not forget to make a security copy of our original pose animation file. In case we didn't, we can always install again the poses pack asset itself using the package manager. After obtaining the desired results, we will click in this specific boolean called register bones in game. Immediately you will notice that that character's transform data and bones data will have been recompiled. We repeat the same process for all the characters and later exit play mode. Again in edit mode, we select each character and click the boolean called copy data to skeleton. You will notice right away how the selected character presents the pose and placement that we edited in play mode just before. After this point, don't forget to remove the animator controller from each character, since we don't need it anymore. And so, here finishes this short tutorial. This little trick can also work if you want to create sculptures in your games, mannequins, chess pieces, whatever specific need you can come up with. Thank you. Until the next one.